This is right up your alley. Oh, these and look mine really too. These, cool. these are awesome. Turtleback trailers. They're customizable tow behind adventure trailers. Uh, so, yeah, and they're made right here. Right so here in Corey, town. Yeah. They are. And the cool thing, Troy and Celeste, is that you don't need a massive dually. You don't need an F 350 to haul these things around. But the fit, the finish, they're just so, so fine. I mean, you're getting into like Lexus uh, territory with the way they're assembled, the way they work. They're really lovely. And um, again, you can pull something like this uh, just with your own sedan or your SUV. You don't have to even have a, a beautiful Jeep Rubicon. Uh, we're showing this model off with that. But uh, the big brain behind it all is Dave Munsterman. Dave, thanks for getting up early, brother. You got it. And congratulations on such a, a cool idea. Now, you're kind of an adventurer by uh, nature. I'm sure you've all been dragging your family around uh, the country your whole life. W what was the inspiration for what you're doing now? What what's your mission? We, we just wanted to get families back out to the outdoors. I mean, mm -hmm. that was the idea is, is to be able to take the family vehicle and get out and go camping so much. I look at my kids on video games and, and all of that, and I just want to get them out, show yeah. them the outdoors like I had when I was a kid. Well, well take us on a little tour and get, sort of rank the models in, in order of, uh, you know, elaboration. Uh, so, to speak. so this is our expedition model. This is our flagship. This is kind of where we started, and it's come a long way since then. But it has... Uh, uh, we build all this in-house. This is all coated and built in here in Arizona. Um, it has electrical systems, solar generator mm -hmm. system on it, so you don't have to have electrical and battery and all of that. Here up front, you've got uh, you know inverter boy, system, oh so you can have 110-volt power even just off your batteries. You can run anything you can at your home off of that. Um, and, and up top, up I top, assume there's some place to so, sleep. So Am I right? There's a place to sleep. So you actually are still camping in a tent, but you're uh, up off the ground away from the critters. Uh, and this is this is the idea as we look behind us here. This is what we're talking about. And uh, boy, Tom, Tom is amazing. He's going to get up there and give us a look at that beautiful space up there. Right. So that's huge. What size bed is that? So that's a cow king bed up there, but it's eight foot long. So you have room to take your gear up there. I mean, I'm six six four. My wife's six mm -hmm. foot six one. We fit up there with a couple of dogs and no sweat. Well, I love how everything is. Everything is in here. I mean, I think many of us who have tried camping with our families, you know, we've we've tried to cobble together our electric situation and get some kind of a stove going. We're dragging a grill around. You've got it all here. Right. It has room for, for everything. I mean, by the time you put the two tables out and put another table behind, you have this big wraparound kitchen. Mm -hmm. You've got a nice deep sink with hot you know, kidding me and I was heat. watching your video. You've got a hot water heater and everything. Right. Water heater, all that. Two burner stove. Oh my gosh! Right there, in here, well, I can tell. <laughs> Joy and Celeste, they're licking their lips back there. Uh, yeah, well, what a hero awesome. you'll be at the campsite for sure. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, next time we get together, we're going to see just how this assembly is working. Yeah. Look. Look at it. Look at Dave's elves back there. So quiet. You know, a lot of a lot of these factories, you'll have like Dawkin blasting through the speakers yes. and Dawkin. <laughs> no, <laughs> Never not here. Run chain <laughs> the night. I've heard Dawkin a long time. Yeah, <laughs> these are the guys who make it happen. We got more coming your way in just a couple of minutes. I'm right here in the valley by a group of people who want to get families outdoors. Yeah. Oh, and he's awake. We thought you might have been taking a nap, right, Troy, inside oh that little trophy. trailer. Yeah. The bed's fantastic. Uh, I was up uh, at the top of the expedition model, but everything happens in this factory right here on the south side. Uh, from the graphics that you're seeing here to the assembly of the steel, and the welding, the whole thing. Uh, Dave, we're looking, and, and I love this idea, this topograph or topographic uh, look that you put on your uh, uh, on the outside of your trailers. Um, I'm, I'm kind of befuddled in a way by how impressive this whole operation is uh there's your transfer but um your your suppliers a lot of them are local you're about keeping things humming uh right. like who's uh, helping you out for instance so, in your frames here so after we build the chassis we send this out to, to goodyear to azc galvanizing they dip it in a vat of 830 degrees zinc that seals inside and out of the tubing so you're not going to rust out a you know it's not that we have a big rust problem here in arizona sure. anyway and then uh, they get rubber coated from Inyadi Industrial here in town. So they uh, do a really nice job of putting mm -hmm. a, a bed liner type coating on there. Uh, and uh, our powder coating is done out in Mesa. Our cabinetry is made in Mesa. 
uh, some of our aluminum forming and weldings done out in the Mesa area with. Uh, Boy. Yeah. So, well, so let's say, you know, beginning to end, from raw steel to shipping it out, uh, how long does it take? It's about a three-week process. So by the time we get started uh, uh, cutting the steel, from cutting the steel and going through coatings and everything and uh, going out the door, it takes about three weeks. And we put three out a week. Wow. Well, you're putting smiles on a lot of families' faces. I'm sure you get some nice feedback from your customers after their first trip or their 40th uh, trip. It's, it's great. We have our, our communities called the, the Herd of Turtles. And uh, <laughs> the, the, we, just, we have a great camping club where people just get together and enjoy this lifestyle of getting back out to the outdoors. Wow. Oh, where's your favorite place to go? Uh, you can go anywhere you want. What do you like? Let's just say within a few days' drive of Arizona. You know, I, I still like it here in Arizona. I uh, I like to go up to the Red Rock area. Mm -hmm. I, I, I love it up there on the rim. Yeah. Uh, that's that's real, We just have the best of both worlds. People picture Arizona as just, you know, deserts and scorpions. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we have so much beauty in this state. Yeah. I mean, well, so Dave Munsterman, Turtleback Trailers, uh, your website? Is uh, turtlebacktrailers.com. Very good. Well, look at the team that makes it all happen. Thanks for getting up early, you guys. What a great bunch. Uh, Troy, Celeste, uh, we Corey? love featuring local companies making good. Yeah, buddy. Can I ask you quickly? Oh. I mean, just like uh, from sure. the bottom of the scale, his lowest end to the top end, i got to ask you how much they are. Oh, yeah. Because they've got to be. That's yeah, a quality let's product. Let's go price-wise. Uh, your, your least expensive to the most. And, and can you point to one, so an the, example? The base model. So if you look at the getaway model here without the kitchen, but it's really a camper ready to go. It's it's about uh, eleven thousand bucks oh, to start. Oh, I thought. On okay. our top end expedition with all the goodies and all, I mean, just loaded the best of the best. Mm -hmm. You're about thirty eight thousand dollars. Wow. wow. <laughs> that is gorgeous. So you said the bed well, was comfy, huh, Cor? Yeah, it's fantastic up there. It's the Maserati of trailers. That's nice. Uh, yeah. Now you're talking. Plus, I think it comes yeah. with several of these fellas too. Yeah, <laughs> got a chef. Those are working men right there. Yeah. Aprons Driver. included. Yeah. <laughs>